who's the dumbest person you've ever met. A girl in my school was using a calculator on a test and typed in the math problem in wrong she then proceeded to type syntax error as an answer. Leslie, I typed your symptoms into the thing up here and it says you could have network connectivity problems. And eat wire. Back in high school a guy named Kevin was arguing with me and anyone who would listen, saying that STDs are prevented by having sex. After about a minute of explaining to him what STD meant I decided to just say, let's agree to disagree. But he didn't let it go. He pulled out a $50 bill from his wallet and bet me that he was right. After he looked it up the crowd mentality forced him to pay up. TL, Dr. Dumb high school student bet me $50 that STDs are prevented by having sex. And the legend of Kevin continues. Stay classy Kevin. My psych class. One girl asked, is eye color a behavior? Not really stupid, more WTF. But she also said she wanted to have a pet baby. Not wanting a pet, or a baby. A pet baby human. Is mayonnaise an instrument? I knew a guy who shot up peanut oil to slow the flow of blood to his brain, to keep him in a constant state of being high. He's dead now, not from the peanut oil, drug overdose a few years later. You sure it wasn't any kind of an anabolic substance? They come in oil. Maybe he told you it was peanut oil, just so you wouldn't know. I recently taught a college student how to add four numbers together. I know a guy who got a composite score of 4 on his act. I know, it sounds impossible. I thought it was 2, but I was at his house when his mom got the mail with his score on there and I saw the piece of paper myself. Australian here, what does that mean exactly? 4, 100? The guy who wound up wanting to fight me because I was explaining to him that calamari was Italian for squid. He insisted people do not ever, ever eat squid. The delightful conversation with a man who insisted all zebras in Africa are extinct, although I had just returned from there with photographic evidence from just two weeks before. Just curious, 133, it sounds from the way you tell it, that he at least knew, that calamari is a thing. 133, so what did he think it was? I had to explain to a girl, that penguins were not fish. I had to explain to another girl who I told this story to why the first girl was not correct. I had to explain to my middle school science teacher that penguins were, in fact, birds, not mammals. That was a difficult class to deal with. Brother's girlfriend, did you know Poland was the only country not affected by World War II? Hitler wasn't a bad guy, they just gave him the wrong job. I like cows, they're cute and they have big eyes, but I don't like horses. They're big and they look like cows. Wine that comes in plastic is fancier than wine that comes in glass bottles, because plastic has more technology. As my brother is cooking her a filet mignon, she looks at the steak in the pan for a minute before asking, is that the whole fish? But it's got technology in it. A girl in my class believed that Neanderthals ate ice and cheese. Bonus, she didn't know eggs came from chickens. She thought they were manufactured in a factory. Well they are made by chickens, often mass produced in a factory. I worked with this girl last summer, who was beyond dumb. At first it was amusing, but then it just got really sad. We were talking about Nelson Mandela being really sick, this was in June, and she said well I sure hope she'll be okay, her music is so good she thought WWII was between America and Africa. She thought potatoes could only grow in America, and when asked what her boyfriend's name was, she said I can't really pronounce it, so I just call him Mike. He spells it like M-I-C-H-A-E-L wait, who did she confuse Nelson Mandela for? Edit, thanks everyone for listing off every random singer. My inbox loves you all. I know a girl who wrote a paper about how polar bears only live in Poland. They sent a submarine with a screen door on it to the sun at night, so it wouldn't melt. I saw a guy try to plug a 3.5mm headphone jack into a USB port once. Not accidentally or anything, he actually spent a good minute working it out. Hey don't judge, maybe he was real stoned. A girl in class said wait, I thought pork chops came from chickens? My friend had it made into a t-shirt. Almost forgot about my college roommate. 
She once missed the first three exits to a city because she forgot where she was going. She once told me she would never breastfeed her children because it would hurt too much to poke the holes. When asked how she thought animals nursed their young she said, well, don't they just gnaw the ends off. Edit to add, she also got into a drunken knockdown fight in the street with another girl over a gay guy. I imagined getting an apple nod off. I got dizzy with fear. Edit, too many typers. There was a girl in my high school who thought rhinos were the last remaining dinosaurs. Oh and she was shocked when she found out that rice came from plants. Smart girl, that one. I thought rice came from Asia. I know a girl who genuinely believes that gorillas and giraffes are not real and the ones at the local zoo are just people in costumes. Sister who is a year older than me sees a Obama Bidden sign so that's Obama's last name, Bidden. We had to watch the movie Defiance in my English class and afterwards this girl put her hand up and asked, is Jewish a country? Later on after after watching Defiance, which is about three Jewish brothers in Nazi occupied Europe, for the second time she asked, wait, were they brothers? I wanted to throw a stapler at her, was she hot? Had a roommate who was about 6 months late on rent, it's a 10 month lease and we're in month 8, they're threatening to sue us. He got a tuition refund. $700. Two months rent. He goes to play poker with it, despite our constant please not to. Doubles up. He shows us the $1,400, because he's done like that. This is Saturday night. Office is closed Sunday. I go to work Saturday night, and then work a long shift Sunday, feeling good. Monday after classes, he comes in. First question, did you pay the rent? Bumbling stumbling excuses I paid off some credit card balances and some other money I owed my parents. So how much did you give the complex? None. Blew my effing lid. Almost punched him right then and there. I will bet every penny to my name that he went back to the table Sunday night and lost it all. Somehow he came up with the money though. He came up with the money by owing his parent again. Had a classmate in 8th grade who legitimately thought that the ocean had no bottom. Our teacher showed a diagram of the deepness of the ocean, and she just couldn't grasp it. I don't know how you get all the way to 8th grade without learning that the ocean doesn't just drop off into nothing. That's almost endearing. This is seeing the world with the wonder of a small child. I wished I could turn dumb wonder mode on and off. A girl from high school physics, if the speed of light is 3108 meter s, what is the speed of dark? And later that year, if China is 12 hours ahead of us, why didn't they warn us about 9, 11? I can't make this stuff up. So, the speed of dark is the speed of light, right? Darkness is the absence of light, so anything getting dark gets dark at the speed that the light leaves it. A girl in my 10th grade history class said, I don't believe in Europe, because I haven't seen it. Also a different kid was asked to leave the class and he replied, Be nigga how, is I supposed to learn if I leave? The joy of public education. Well, that kid had a point. I have posted this before, but in freshman biology class we were reviewing the subatomic particles, and the teacher asked a girl to list them. She responds with protons, electrons, and decepticons and could not figure out why the class was laughing at her. Duh. Clearly the decepticons are not neutral. Looking over a test I took in college one of the girls in the class with me was amazed that I got an A. She said that test was so hard, I failed it. I asked her if she studied at all. She said no, and she told me she was drunk when she took the test. This Jamaican guy started making fun of me because I was from Africa. A bit stunned, I'm like, where do you think your ancestors came from? Jamaica and before that, Jamaica no, Africa no, Jamaica. No he was not all Native American descent, or white, or whatever, he was a black as a night. Edit, he failed a grade at some point, and ended up a crack addict, allegedly. Edit 2, Irorax, the indigenous population that Columbus encountered, were not all wiped out. Puerto Ricans, Surinamese, Venezuela, Guyana, and Colombians can claim Irorax ancestry. People with colonized minds say the darndest things. 
girl in my astronomy class, so if I went out into space, could I like push the stars around and knock them into each other and stuff? Teacher, no, they are incredible massive objects girl, but they look so little. Reminded me of this. This girl at my school, I don't swim a lot during the summer, because I do not want to get water cancer you mean skin cancer? From the sun? No. Water cancer. You can get cancer from the pool water. Help me. This girl saw double cheeseburger on a restaurant menu, and she got all excited, thinking it meant double cheeseburger, extra cheese. She was confused when there was two patties in the burger. That girl was me. My boyfriend still laughs at me. TL. Doctor, I like cheese. Edit. Apparently a lot of you are on my side. Thanks friends. Edit 2. My highest rated comment is about cheese. A true double cheese burger has both two patties and two slices of cheese. This is the reason that McDonald's serves both a double cheese burger, two patties, two slices of cheese, and a cheaper McDouble, two patties, one slice of cheese. If you desire a single patty and two slices of cheese, I'm not sure how to help you. This girl, at the age of 22, took an electric fan and threw it in a bathtub to clean it. The apartment lit on fire. She was surprised. See, fan death is real. This isn't close to the stupidest thing she said, but it's the only thing I can remember. Girl at my high school, admitted in class to pouring an entire jug of antifreeze on her windshield to melt the ice. That ass though. I once told my, at the time, girlfriend that I'd put oil in my car. She just looked at me puzzled and asked oil, why didn't you just get gas? Probably a girl from my high school history class. Two classic quotes of hers are where was the Berlin Wall, sir, and did Hitler not like Jews? In 12th grade someone in my class asked where Narnia was. They were being 100% serious. My old roommate's boyfriend. He spent the better portion of dinner movie stating how food has too much preservatives in it anymore, and that's why there are trees that have been petrified. Petrified trees, because of preservatives in food. Also, you can't eat buckyballs, or any magnet in general, because your body works off of electrical currents, and if you ate a magnet, it could disrupt them. She was also pretty dumb. Spent an entire night sobbing about being pregnant, gets an abortion, and then makes a point to call out people on Facebook for discussing the topic, saying things like I could never do that to an unborn child, every child is a gift. When that whole brainless kid fiasco was happening on Facebook a few years back, I don't miss either of them. A co-worker of my dad's, whom I've met a few times. She was a middle-aged woman and she believed that there were huge black lines on the ground separating each of the states in the US. You know how they show the state borders on political maps? Yeah, she thought those were really there. Well the one between Canada and the US is there, and we all know Canada is a state. My ex roommate's boyfriend. He was 22. He actually idolized Bieber, One Direction, etc. and did everything he could to be like them. He was also homophobic, probably gay because he often wore his girlfriend's clothes from Forever 21 and refused to get a job because the band is totally gonna make it. He also pushed his girlfriend down a set of stairs and was so in love with himself that he took mirror selfies, posted them on his Facebook, then sent them to his Facebook page that he made for himself. Absolutely the worst person I've ever met. To make sure he didn't come to the house, I actually convinced him that our building was built on an ancient Indian burial ground, and that strange things did happen from time to time. He never came back. I like how pushed her down the stairs is slid in there, like he left dirty plates on the counter. <laughs> Katy Perry once shopped the Whole Foods market I manage, she wouldn't let my cashier's hand touch her food. The personal assistant proceeded to take my cashier's spot, insisting Catty may get sick from worker contact. That's pretty dumb. Edit. For the record, this sort of thing is pretty common. Catty may have been weirder than most, but famous people get strange about plebeian contact. Edit 2. I want to be very clear about something. She wasn't being a bee about the checkout situation, just making a seller request. I like I said, this happens all the time. I'm not posting this to paint her as a monster, just a bit dense. Who do they think pick? 
package, ship, and put one display that same food. Don't forget to like this video, and follow this channel to hear more Ediception.